Emily was taking some empty trucks to the depot for Murdoch's train. Murdoch was already there, waiting for her. Those are for me, I presume? That's right, Murdoch. Would you like me to shunt them for you? Oh, don't worry yourself. Soon, Murdoch had his full train and he was ready to go. You're so kind, Murdoch, said Emily. I wish more big engines were like you. Aw, oh, thanks, Emily. That means a lot. Actually, as a matter of fact, there is another big engine like you. And he even also has smoke deflectors. Well, I hope I get the chance to meet this fellow engine. And with that, Murdoch chugged away. Just then, Emily's friend Hero approached with the flower train. Like Murdoch, Hero was also a very kind and big engine. And you're the engine who I was talking to Murdoch about. It's lovely to see you, Emily, but I mustn't stop. This flower must make it to the bakery on time. Murdoch chuffed happily through the countryside. The trucks didn't give him any trouble. The signal box loomed into view. The new signalman had not been on Sodor for very long. It did not know who was to go where. I'll just pull this lover to the bakery, he thought, remembering being told about the flower train. But Murdoch didn't have the flower train and was switched onto the wrong track. This isn't the way to the docks, said his driver. Come along, Murdoch, let's back up. Murdoch did so, but this was a huge mistake. Luckily, nobody was hurt, but both engines were dazed and confused. Eventually, Harvey arrived with the breakdown crane. Sir Topham had arrived, too, and had a few stern words for the signalman and Murdoch's driver. I am truly sorry, my dear engine. My driver can be rather careless at times. What's your name? I am Hero, and what happened was not your fault, my friend. It will be too much of a hassle to switch you to the different tracks if you want to stay on time, said Sir Topham Hatt. Hero and Murdoch, you must switch your jobs. After everything was put back on the rails, Murdoch departed with the flower train. And Hero departed with Murdoch's train. That night, Hero and Murdoch found each other at Titmouth Sheds. The two engines got to know each other some more. Then they laughed and talked like old friends, keeping a poor sleep-deprived Henry up all night. Shut